Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we are taking a look at the Vetus Sculpt Coloring feature that is now available in Blender 2.9. Now the whole idea here is there was uh, two questions that was asked on the community and I would just want to put them to rest. So the first question that was asked is how does the Sculpt Vetus Painting feature how does it relate with what you have in ZBrush? So I'm going to simply pop ZBrush right here and we have this demo character. And right here, we already gone through to make paintings. If you have no idea how you can make paintings in ZBrush, this is very easy as you can simply, you know, select the matte cap that you want or you can select the material from here. And once you have that done, go over to where you have MRGB. M stands for the material, which is this. RGB stands for the color. So just simply set this to white. Go over to color and simply click on fill. That way you would fill the entire mesh with one solid color. Now, once this is done, if you want to proceed to painting, make sure you don't have Z add or Z sub, you know, turned on. Then simply select RGB. Select the color of choice that you want. Press X to turn on symmetry or press X to turn off symmetry. Then you can proceed to start painting. So because I'm using a pen right here you can see i can have that if i switch over to mouse and start painting let's zoom right in all right so if i switch over to mouse to start painting you can see we're having a much more bolder painting going on here so we can paint slowly and exactly the same sort of vetus coloring that you have in blender is what you have in zbrush or vice versa now the other question that was asked is what about the coloring or how do you change the saturation and stuff with zbrush how does it compare with that uh, of blender so how that works is very simple so if you want to get that happening in zbrush it's very very easy as all you have to do is come over to this part where you have called tools within the menu or you can do that within this section then from here you can go over to poly paint which is exactly what we have here and you can simply click on adjust color so once you click on adjust color you notice a brand new window opens this feature is only available i think from 2020 all the way up so if you're using 2018 2019 zebras you will not be able to have this and the first things you need to do is you need to sample the color you want to make changes to so if you click right here you can simply click directly here to select the color you want to sample so you actually have to click and hold and go right here for you to select the color and then you can use the tolerance slider to slide this thing up and down now once you have gotten the exact color that you want you can also you know blow the mask if this is also something you're going for you can use the hsv hue to make changes to that particular color so this works regardless of what you have so if you have like 15 20 30 different colors of course you can do that actually let's cancel this and select another color probably green let me zoom all the way out so let's simply zoom that out and also rotate this model a little bit and i'm going to simply paint green across this particular place so let's wiggle that a bit so if i simply paint green across here let's use this as a test for what we have i can also go right back to this point click on adjust color select the first one and also select the second one so this way i would be able let's simply blow the mask a bit so this way i'll be able to make changes to several parts so right here i have that and i can you know switch and make changes to all these other parts at the same time so if i want to turn this off i can also proceed to turn that off just to make the changes on one particular part now if you want to make changes on the other part as well and you don't want it to affect the other one you can simply turn one on and then you can go through and make the changes or the relevant changes that you want so this is entirely up to you and how you want to control your masking now this is for zbrush so how this actually works for blender is slightly different all right so we are going to simply fire up blender which we already have and for blender what we already talked about is if you go over to the sculpting tool or to the sculpting section what you would want to do is you need to make sure you have the object selected so let's simply select this object right here and you need to come right here and switch this from material to vertex all right so once you switch this from material to vertex you will be able to actually do some of these cool things right here so once we have this i can go ahead and start making the painting but this wasn't the question that was asked the main question that was asked is how do you render so in the previous build you couldn't render these things but now you can so how you can do that is with our object right here the first things i need to do is click right here and if you scroll all the way down you would notice so let's simply scroll you would notice that we have sculpt vertex color I can proceed to delete that and we have nothing there but once i start layering paint on top 
automatically Blender would create a brand new one for us here. You could easily see that we are beginning to have, you know, a painting right here and also you would notice that we have you know the sculpt vertex color right here now you might also be wondering why do we have that in some sort of layers now the reason why we have that here is because you can actually add multiple stuff so i can click right here and add multiple stuff but before we do that the only problem or the differences between what you have in zbrush and what you have in blender right now is the fact that in blender you actually make changes across the entire color all right so let's say we are done with our painting and i select the color filter that we have here and want to change the hue if i click and drag and wiggle i'm changing every single thing of course this is still in its early process and i believe over time they are going to make changes to that so if i click and drag and wiggle you can see click and drag and wiggle you can see contrary to what we have in zbrush where you have to click on the adjust and you can select on what color you want to adjust and make changes to here in blender it actually applies to you know to everything which isn't a bad idea i mean it's not a bad idea you can simply use this now something else which i think i would like to show you guys is rendering the stuff so how you can render this is very easy so let's say we create a brand new actually we don't even need to do that what we can do is i'm going to simply get a new window and go all the way to where we have our shaders and within this place what you need to dial in is you need to press you need to hold down shift and a and type the word color and with this here you can invoke the vertex color so i'm just going to simply click on color and it is referring to the color that you have here so once i click that and link this back to the base i can now easily render this this would not be rendered by ev this can only be rendered by cycle so if i simply switch to ev click right here you can notice that it doesn't really notice what's happening but if i switch to ev i mean if i switch to cycle sorry and render you would now notice that we have that rendering happening here something else that is extremely cool is you can also make variations all right so you can make variations of things that you would like to render and what i mean by this is by simply jumping back here so if i come back to this part where we have vetus and i click on this button right here and click right here all right just simply click right here and choose to make an extension of my painting let's say i want to test out certain things or maybe i want to add some more paintings and i just want to be sure if this is going to work or not i can also proceed to do that so first things you need to do press the plus sign click right here to make this renderable and then i can proceed to start making you know my texture painting so let's say i want to add something more like this and maybe i want to add something more like that i don't know i'm just doodling around all right so if we want to add things like this and this is you know our final masterpiece right here for us to get this rendered if i simply set this the way it is and jump back to the rendering i'm still getting this for you to get the next one which is this right here you need to click here and switch to this and you can see that update and this is very interesting because you could make several variations of one particular coloring so if i go all the way back and click right here and switch to this click here to set this one to what it is jump back here i can use this which is our color filter and change the hue and make changes and that would only be applied to the color so if i go back and choose to render this i'm only rendering the hue change that i've made to just this particular one and if i want to get this other render i can simply switch to this all right and then make that change or that switch right here and i can see a different result so these are the updates and i think i have answered some of the questions you guys have asked in the community and i guess this is more like the beginning of some pretty cool stuff that is going to be coming to the sculpting side of things and also to the vertex things sometime last week the rendering capability was not enabled but now it's pretty cool to see that we have the rendering feature and of course you can simply make as much copies of these that you want you know mix them up if you want to and you can also proceed to blend these and have fun working with it and this is definitely going to be about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks 
things like this. Peace.